Hello you guys, this is Jane and in today's video I'll be doing a little sketch in my Strathmore watercolor sketchbook and I'll be doing first impression of watercolors that I wanted to try for a very long time and now I finally did and those are called Schminky Super Granulation Horadam watercolors so sit tight because there's gonna be one embarrassing story and lots of good experiences Today I'll be surprisingly satisfied with how my sketch turned out. It started as something that I didn't have very high hopes for and in the end I was surprised how much I liked the result and felt inspired by the color combination. So I painted with regular schminky watercolors for ages. I've been using them ever since I started doing watercolors 11 years ago. They were my number one choice. And then I started using Daniel Smith paints alongside of them. And that's because originally most of the schminky colors were very smooth, which was perfect. But then I started to like the granulating effect and Daniel Smith paints are really famous for that. Uh, so I used to combine these two brands using Daniel Smith whenever I need granulation in my paintings and Schminky whenever I want smooth gradients. But then more brands started to offer granulating paints. I tried Van Gogh paints, which are very affordable and for some purposes they worked well for me instead of the Daniel Smith paints that are not only costly but also very hard to find here in Slovakia. But when Schminky introduced their new super granulating paints, especially the sets, they really caught my eye. Especially this one, the desert set, was something that I wanted to try so much. I have been eyeing them for a couple of months, but they were also expensive. Here in Slovakia, I found one store that offered sets in a wooden box. I'm not quite sure if that was with the five milliliters or 15 milliliter tubes, but those sets were about 65 euros. And uh, you know, life of an artist is a hard life. You can't always afford to buy a 65 euro set of paints. So I built up my courage and asked Schminky on their Instagram if they could maybe send me a box to try and I would do a review on my channel. I think the channel had about 14,000 subscribers. Luckily they didn't take too long to answer but I got a negative reply which really felt crushing just for a second and made me appreciate the brands that do reach out to me and send me products to test out for trusting me enough. So that is a little embarrassing. And for a second there, before I sent that request, I felt like a big YouTuber. And then it was such a cool down very quickly. So I'm not a big YouTuber and this is my honest opinion about these paints. But who then helped me to get that set that I really couldn't afford those uh, few months back was actually my patrons. So many thanks to you guys because you currently sponsor all my art supplies and allow me to test out new things. But I still didn't get the wooden box. I got the like regular paper box with five milliliter tubes just to check them out. And this set on Amazon I found for about 35, I think 35 euros or so. I couldn't imagine this desert set to be used for portraits that easily because you don't usually go with granulating paint when you want to paint a portrait. For some reason this time I just wanted to see, especially this earthy combination of colors, what would it look like if I did the background and the clothing and everything, maybe besides the hair color because I used indigo for that. And it really helped not to have expectations whatsoever 
whatsoever regarding the result. It is a sketchbook painting and I just wanted to experiment with them and feel those colors out a little before I do something like more important, maybe on a larger scale. To this day, I have no idea why I was so attracted to the desert set because there was a green set. I think forest was the name and I'm usually very like pro green color. I think there was also a blue set. I don't know why desert, like earth colors were never my thing and this time I just couldn't resist it, but I blamed that desert green actually that's in this set, which was a duochrome pigment type of color that split into a red particle and a green particle and I just found it so fascinating. I don't actually have a color that would look like that in my entire collection of watercolors but I just realized that I'm actually not using that too much in this painting. To this day I've already used this set in three more paintings and I'm going to do a full review video so take this just as my first impressions of that set. I think what makes these sets so attractive is those carefully selected color combinations. When I first started to paint with them, I didn't think that the paint was easier to work with or felt like more high-end than what I experienced with my Daniel Smith paints. And it is true that once they dry on your palette that they are kind of harder to re-wet, but the same issue I had with a granulating Daniel Smith paints, more often than not. In this regard, I found them a little drier than what I'm used to, but the granulation is nice. It's, very comparable with what I get from the Daniel Smith paints. But the colors, I would probably never select that color combination myself if I was to pick tube by tube and Schminky selects them for you in those sets and they really work harmonious together. In this sketch I used a bit of salt to create the effect on her hair. Like this alt effect uh, combined with granulation creates this heavy texture and I really enjoy what it looks like visually. Then I also tried different shades from this set to use to create a pattern on her clothes and uh, I finalized everything with iridescent watercolor. This one is from Daniel Smith and it's uh, iridescent sandstone. I could have used my fine tech, I just wanted to do something metallic on top of this earthy pattern because it really felt like it's gonna look nice together and it did. As far as first impression goes, these watercolors push your artwork to the next level. Not everyone is into granulation. I am ridiculously into granulation, but I've never used it in a portrait in such a, an amount as in this one. And it motivated me to try out and test out if I could even do the granulation texture over the face itself, but I would have to test out in a different painting and on a larger scale because this sketchbook is A4 and that face was really, really tiny. I had a hard time to even shade it in this size. I felt so happy when I finished this sketch, especially because I have only six pages left in this Strathmore sketchbook and it's going to be my first watercolor sketchbook that I ever finished. You'll see me experimenting more with these paints in my future paintings and sketches and this was a very enjoyable one. You guys have a great time. Don't forget to paint something or just give your old paints some appreciation. I'll see you Thursday. Bye!